OK, let's build a mast. Let me start by saying that we can't guarantee these methods, it's just the way that we've decided to build our mast. First of all, get your mast mandrel. The class has one of these, or you can choose to make your own. For this method, an aluminium mandrel has been used, which is the best for this type of lost wax process. Start by melting a lot of candles into a saucepan, and then liberally painting it onto the mandrel, as you can see here. Uh, when I say liberally, it needs to be very thick, um, at least a couple of mil, two, three mil, four mil if possible. When you've coated it with enough wax, you'll find that it's quite a rough surface, as you can see here, so you'll need a method of smoothing it. Uh, we found that using an iron is the best way of doing this. Set it on a very low heat. After it is as flat as you can get with your iron, use mould release wax to fill in any small defects. Then cut your cloth. The specifications for masks can be found on the technical pages of our website. And then before you start laying up your cloth, make sure you get into all your protective clothing, just like the fellow on the right. Mix your resin and start wetting out the mandrel with the epoxy. You need to use a slow hardener for this kind of work because it does take quite a considerable amount of time. Using paint trays helps uh, the pot life of the epoxy as well. You can see the guys here starting to lay up the first layer of cloth. The first layer is uh, 45 degree carbon cloth. This means that the carbon strands are on a 45 degree axis up the mast. You then roughly lay up six layers of unidirectional carbon plus any reinforcement that you require. Um, notable areas for reinforcement are obviously shroud points and the gooseneck. You can see that laying up carbon on the mandrel is quite a, is a very hands-on process, it's quite fiddly and it's best to have a couple of people to, to actually help you manhandle the, the cloth around otherwise it does end up being a bit of a mess. Wet up each individual layer uh, with your hands, rollers or brushes, whatever you prefer. This roller method is quite, is quite good and take care not to stretch the 45 degree cloth um, so it goes out of shape. Then essentially carry on doing this for another four or five hours and um, you've got a mast. All there is to do then is to wrap it in peel ply and shrink tape. You then wait for the epoxy to harden. Take it outside and fill the mandrel full of boiling hot water. This will melt the wax and allow you to pull the carbon mast off your mandrel. Um, but you can see the rest of this process in part two.